Hello and welcome to the Shadow Shadowcast. We host Thomas Anderson and Tech Wizard Abigail Moit. Abigail's deflated. Go on. Abigail's sad. Go on. I don't want to talk about it. Well, don't bring it up then. (laughs) This is your chance to make me happy. Oh, okay. Improve my mood. Because that wasn't an ultimatum, was it? No, it wasn't. Right, what what have you been playing? I have just basically been playing more GTA online. Mm -hmm. For the purpose of? To get level up. 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 Yes, to up to, was it 42? Is it that I need to get up to 46? 42. 46. 44. 43. 43. Tommy was motioning to me what? (laughs) Higher or lower? Higher Higher or lower, lower? Higher or lower? Yeah, I think it's 43 lets you have the carbine and that's really the, the that's when you start having guns that are actually Yeah. You know, they're they're more utilitarian. Like I know the sniper rifle's good for range, but if you're anything close than miles away. I I was uh, I've, know. I've been replaying missions that we've already done because Aye. I get a lecture if I do missions that we've not done already. But because some of the we mis- have to keep track of the ones that you have done. And it, it's, it's an absolute bugbear of mine in this, but it gives a tick if you try a mission, not if you actually succeed at it. So you have to keep a mental note of every mission you've tried and failed at, and it's just not going to work. Well, so far I believe it's missions that we've completed, that I've done. Well, it doesn't matter either way, because I've remembered the missions that we haven't completed. Okay, but I think I did like peer pressure like three times. Yeah. Over to the course of two days. And it's fine. I'm up to level 37 now. Getting there. Yeah. And I'm trying to crouch when I shoot, but it doesn't always lend to the best situation when it's just me. And also something that's really annoying is the fact that certain missions you need to have a minimum of two players. Yeah, like there's one mission there that you need a minimum of four. Yeah. So I've, you know, we 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 tried that one a couple of times, but that was when we were new to playing as a four. And that was when I was new to playing, full stop. Aye. So I was just a disaster every step of the way. Mhm. But I'm still doing the thing of having a new outfit pretty much every single time that you come in with me to play the game. Yeah. Eventually, that will stop. Because eventually, no. the outfits cost like forty grand. Yeah, but the variety. Yeah, but eventually you run out. No, because they keep adding stuff. You know you need that money to buy guns, right? I can be pretty as well. Yes, but you still need the money. I'm to not buy the guns. level yet. I've got like over three hundred grand. I'm I'm gonna be fine if I spend like four grand on outfits. Yeah, but eventually the outfits cost like like my um clothes cost like fifty grand. Yeah, but I'm not buying those ones. I'm not buying the super it, expensive ones. I don't buy the kind of stuff that uh, uh, Bampot Bandit uh, buys. I buy the utilitarian stuff that makes it look like I'm in combat because I want to look like I'm going into combat all the time. So it costs like 40 or 50 grand for a t shirt. Yeah. Do you remember what he was wearing though? No, it's been so long since we played. It's a white suit with a white fedora. <laughs> that's, not, that's not anywhere near as daft as some of the outfits I've pulled out to play. No, but he he looks <laughs> like he looks like he looks he looks like a drug dealing version of the guy who runs KFC. <laughs> the colonel. Yeah, the colonel. He, he looks yeah. like a he looks like a drug running version of the colonel. I just routinely want to look like some sort of variation of a biker chick with heels <laughs> with heeled boots. Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah. Because it's fun. I've got a new jacket. And new boots. <laughs> I accidentally spent 15 grand on a pair of earrings a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. That was, that, was, that was just a mistake. And you spent how much on your car? Mm, was it 300 grand? And 25,000. Something like that, yeah. But the car is actually useful. Yeah. 
But I went and got more armor for it. Pardon me. Uh, you shouldn't have been able to get more armor for it. What it should it? have come fully armored. I don't think it is fully armored. I definitely bought the armored one, but it's not fully armored because I can go to like the workshops and it's like increased by 40% or something like that, the armor. Huh, we'll have to check that. If that's the case, I should be able to take my car in and get it more heavily armored as well because yeah. I haven't. I, I feel bought that car like, ages ago. I feel like the windows and stuff that get shot out really easily. Maybe you're right. Maybe I need to do up the armor. But I was just um, like some of the um, missions I've been doing have some of them are quite easy because you know there was like the under the under, was it peer pressure under peer pressure mm -hmm. whatever it is. I just found peer out pressure. you can you can like not have to do the second shootout if you just turn a right turn right. And go down a road. You can bypass everybody. Can you explain that? Sorry, because I don't... Right, you know how you have to, like... There's, like, a shootout, and then you have to go collect the package. And where's the shootout? It's under the pier. Right, okay, so there's a path leading along the beach that then goes underneath the pier and out the other side onto the beach. No, maybe I'm thinking of something else. It's not near the beach. It's near the club. Like under a bypass. Ah, right. That's not peer pressure. Oh, I thought that's it's what similar it was to peer pressure. Yeah. It's basically a drug deal's going down that you interrupt and kill everyone to take the drugs, and then you get attacked by backup. Yeah, but you the don't. The enemy backup. Yeah, but the enemy backup, you can bypass them. Hmm. So you can, instead of turning around and going out the way you came in, you can sneak underneath. Yeah. It and yeah. you just turn. Okay. You just turn right, and then you just go out, and then you, off you go. It's really easy. <laughs> hmm. I'll show you next time we play. Okay. Yeah, that's um so you just So you run so you go in basically under the tunnel. Yeah. Under the under the tunnel. Under the bridge. Under the motorway. Yeah. It's a motorway, isn't it? It's it's a, it's a popped bypass. up motorway. And you kill everybody on your way in. Take the drugs and then you get in your car and instead of turning no, around and going you get, out, you get you in the van. Turn right and drive that way. Yeah. And they obviously don't spawn over there. So no. you just drive off. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Not working harder, working smarter. Mm hmm Yeah. How did you find that out? I just thought, what happened if I go down here? And then I saw you could get get out. Mm -hmm. I was like, Oh, okay. <laughs> this is this is a bit easier. It's sort of like the solution to when you're attacked driving a boat. Yes. What is our solution? What is what is stands, the solution? Tommy stands on boat. I try not go too fast, otherwise Tommy go bye bye. But. <laughs> yeah, I get <sighs> jettisoned from the 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 boat if she goes too fast because of the waves throwing the boat in the air. Yeah. But what I do um, is if if I go and I know I'm going to be a, like if it's like in a tower block or something not a tower block like a building site I try and get as far away as I can and then just basically use the sniper. Yes. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, and I get very upset when it doesn't work. But you know there's that mission where you have to it's like take out all the bad guys on the first level, then the second level. Like it tells you that's like your aim. Of the building, yeah, I remember yeah. we did that, yeah. I keep dying. Yeah, it's really tough, that one. Yeah. That's why you need the extra weapons, because you've got long range sorted, but anything below that... You've got you've got close range with the shotgun, but anything between those two extremes, you've got nothing. Yeah. And that's why we need to level you up. Yeah. Or you um, can just play with me again. Yeah, but even then, you're, you're not of any use in that middling range. So you can't rank up your sco scooting, your scooting <laughs> shells. Scooting. You can't rank shells. up your scooting shells. You can't rank up your shooting skills because of it. Um, yeah. But like, just to let you know, like I use the big MG, but Bampot Bandit just uses the um, uh, the carbine that yeah. you're trying to get. Yeah. So it's perfectly valid strategy. It's, you're, you're, yeah. At certain missions, I'm just unable to do by myself even if i if it's just one like you can still do it as one yes because just... you're you're not able to do the damage yeah that you need to do so it's getting a bit monotonous because i just keep having to select the same ones over and over again mm -hmm. 
Yeah. So that's kind of why I go about doing other things because I I just find it boring if I'm doing yeah. that. Well, I am a little bit um, chock at the block at it at the moment, but um, and my guilt trip's not working then. No, no, not at all. <laughs> but hopefully, I'll have some free time during yeah. the week, and we can. Well, I get don't some know if I will. Ha- I'm I'm trying to be good and not work in the evenings, but I think I'm going to have to. So I've got one of a test this week and I've also got a report due this week. You okay. Are you gonna send me that information so I can try to help? Yeah, but um I'm really far behind in where I should really be with everything. Mm-hmm. It's it's getting a bit stressful. It's getting a bit stressy. Well it's it's what happens when people basically don't take into account that basically when how to put this when you don't take circumstances into account you end up creating something you didn't mean to create it's like giving someone a test and not taking into account the fact that they don't have hands yeah when you're not tested their ability to write to, to give you the answer you've tested their ability to write with their mouth it's just if you don't take that sort of stuff into account and at the minute there's an awful lot of extenuating circumstances that have to be taken into account so I'd, yeah. yeah I'm just it's, I think it's just like everybody I'm kind of just fed up with everything at the moment I don't know it's like this, this lockdown's just really gotten to me compared to the other one do you think it's like we were mentally prepared that it was going to end last year and then it didn't and then we went back into it? I mean, no, no, I, I'm quite happy that we're in lockdown. I'm, I'm quite happy. No, I don't, I don't, I don't, like, I understand it. I, I, I understand it's necessary, but I think it's, it was the fact it was getting better and then it got bad again. That's what got me. That's what's got to me. No, I, I'm. I just, yeah. I, I just don't understand why we can't just do this forever. Yeah, I don't understand why people have to meet up and see each other. Well, let's go for a pint. Because we're yeah, social animals. It's in our DNA. I'm missing that bit then. Alien. Hmm. Anywho. What have you been doing? I don't know why I said it like that. What have you been doing? <laughs> um, I have been playing mini games. I played some Halo, just to practice playing Halo in case we need to play Halo. I've been playing some Assassin's Creed Syndicate with my Neproder. Um, We didn't have as much time, so we just did a couple of the wee sort of like secondary side missions. Why are you talking like that? I don't know, I just like doing it. I just did a couple of the sort of like secondary side missions Mm. for Assassin's Creed Syndicate, just getting them out of the way basically. But, yeah, but really what's happening is it's just going to be a run at the end to finish the game. My phone fell. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Mm-hmm. I went to go... I literally was trying to go as slowly as possible so I could cross my legs because my knee was a bit sore. And as I did that, I tapped the table and the phone just decided to fall. I don't, I don't think it decided to fall. The tap on the table wasn't like a signal. Right, go, well, go, go, like, go, look, go, go. Look, I'm tapping it now and it's not falling. It's only when I'm trying to be careful it falls. Look, I'm tapping as well and your phone's not falling. What you're actually proving is that you pushed your phone over. She's guilty, Your Honour, of attempted murder of her phone. Mm-hmm. So sorry I interrupted you with the phone falling over. I apologise. Yeah, you did interrupt me because you did it deliberately. So, um, yeah, it's just going to be a mad dash at the end where we just finish all the main sort of like sequence missions because we'll have done everything around it. Um, I'm not levelling up my characters completely. 
Why? Uh, because there's recommended levels for each mission. Yeah. And my brother told me that when he went into it and he did it, um, he just did all the side stuff and leveled up his characters Mac to, to full. And then he said that doing the actual main story was there was no difficulty in it at all because he was he had all the abilities and powers and, and all that. So he, he he didn't find it difficult in the slightest. Yeah. So I, I decided not to do that. Hmm. And to is it a get it like a get around, is it then Maria, if you if you go into a fight against level four characters and you're level nine or ten, like if it's out of 10 levels and you're level 10 and you're up against enemies that are level 4, that's not a fight. No, it's not. So I thought, nah, I'm not doing that. It's not I'll even just a stick kerfuffle. with the level. Exactly. <laughs> I'm just going to stick with the level recommendations and when it goes up, that's when I'll level them up. And then once I'm that level, that's when I can do the side stuff that's the same level. So yeah. I've got, I'm level six, I think. So I've got side stuff at level eight and nine that I, uh, and seven that I haven't done because my guys are level six. But once ah. they go up, that's when I'll do all that. But I've done, I've done the vast majority of it anyway. Good um, plan. What? Good plan. Oh, it sounded like a suggestion. Anyway, um, also I've been playing Gears 5, um, just doing more horde mode and all that sort of stuff just to get into it because I've always wanted to try it and now that I can, it's good. Um, I can play by myself because the horde mode in 5, you can use AI characters yeah. to bolster your team. Also, um, or AI allies, that's the one. Um, you can also do it with other people who are playing and that's a lot of fun as well. Um, and sometimes I do it with... Um, your mates. Exactly. So, yeah, uh, the classes that you go are out of 20 levels, and I'm level 16. Ooh, yeah. And, um, yeah, I'm just having a lot of fun with it, if I'm being honest. That's very good. I'm really sorry. I've had a coffee, and now I feel very twitchy. I've noticed that. You don't feel twitchy. You are being twitchy. Yeah, I... Uh... It's all that coconut milk. I did, I'm the engineer. My job is to build all the fortifications. We build them a lot. I build them a lot cheaper as an engineer. Mm -hmm. I get like 40% off or something like that. But I did actually go into one game where the fortifications cost something like 10 times what they normally cost. All right. So I couldn't build any. So everybody was just making guns. Because you can either build fortifications or you can build a weapon, right? Because you spawn in with a certain weapon depending on your class, but you might not like that gun, so you might need to change it. Yeah. And that costs uh, rec energy, as does building fortifications. Yeah. And if you can't, you know, if it's like 50 grand to buy one level one turret, it's totally not worth it. Especially if it costs two grand for a Lancer, four grand for a Lancer GL, you know, two grand for a Sniper, four grand for a... Uh, heavy weapon you know that sort of thing there's no yeah. like a mulch or something like that there's no point in building a wee turret that just goes yeah and doesn't do anything. so i got to experiment with building different weapons and that yeah. was fun too that sounds fun i've been playing it while um listening to some critical role some what sorry critical role what's that what it's is this the, most famous D and D um, channels, I think. I think I don't know if they do other things, but what I've been watching is is D and D. Oh, I believe. right, Critical Role. Yeah. I get it now. Yeah. Um, they seem to play an interesting variation of the rules. It might be the actual rules, and what I've been watching before isn't. But I want to play. They it. seem to roll for attack, and it seems to possibly be against the defense so instead of it being like the the person who's being hit or the creature that's being hit rolls as well and whoever gets higher does damage and the difference is the damage i'm not sure it just seems to be a bit it's a bit weird i'm not sure if they it's just not what i expected it might yeah it, it might be just a variation that they're playing or i've misunderstood a rule because it's like a, a best of thing so it's not 
going through it. It's just jumping between the funny bits. Yeah. But um, yeah, that's something that I need to look at. I, I want to play D and D. I don't have enough people to play it with. But, I yeah. want to play D and D. I want to learn. I want to learn to play. I think you need more than two. Mm. I can be somebody else as well. Put on a hat. <laughs> that's that's the definition <laughs> of being someone else. Just I'll, I'll put, put on, on a hat. I'll put on an accent. We need more players. Don't worry. I'll put on a hat. I'll put on a fake moustache as well. How about that? Can we do that in GTA? Because we need four. Can you put on a hat and a fake moustache? No, because it has to be a digital character. This one I could just pretend to be somebody. I could put my hair over my lip. Right. So the, the <laughs> Moving on. I was supposed to give my review of Mirror's Edge Catalyst yes, last week. Yes, you were. And we and, forgot. And I think that sums up how bad that game is for me. Did I totally you just forgot gulp? I played it. No? Did I gulp? No, it sounded like you gulped. I, um, yeah, I just totally... I, it just... The running was frustrating, not fun. Because sometimes the buttons would just go a bit mental and other times they would just spawn random enemies in the way for no reason. The mission-based setup of the first game is just superior. The set pieces themselves are not as fun to run around in Mirror's Edge Catalyst. They're way more fun in the first game. Yeah. Um, you reach the end of the game and the story's concluded and yet it keeps spawning enemies in for no reason. I don't know why. The, the dash challenges that you do, they're basically just like, it's basically what I did to do them was looked up a video online yeah. because almost all of them, pardon me, have a wee cheat in them. You're not actually supposed to follow the route it suggests. You're supposed to make huge skips and go the other way. And, and some of them you actually start by going right rather than left. Like it indicates, it's just, it's not about run really, really well or be smart and find the the um, Hidden shortcut. Stuff. It's find the shortcut and run really well otherwise you get nothing this is like no um the story itself is a bit bleh Blue. um the big set piece climb is actually like the end of the game is actually rubbish that sucks uh They have a character in it that they try and pass off as being autistic, but she spins in and out of it randomly. Just doesn't make sense. Like, the character can't maintain eye contact and then suddenly locks eyes and then doesn't when it suits them. It's like poor writing as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Um, Like, they basically just chop the character in and out as if, as they see fit, and that's not really good enough. <sighs> it is not. It looks good. It looks cool because I've seen people, I think, pl either play this one or one. I don't know. Is there more than one Mirror's Edge game? Mirror's Edge. And then the second one is Mirror's Edge Callus. Right. I think it's the first one I've seen people play and it looks pretty cool. <sighs> was. When she was fighting, was she able to hold a gun? I think so. That's the first one. Yeah. They take that out, the second one. That makes no sense. Um, because it's a prequel. How are you supposed to fight against the baddies? You, you punchy, punchy. Hmm. The combat is a bit. I think in the first one you could actually block and disarm, and in this one you can't. So it's just, it's. <sighs> I actually I got to the point where I was just going through it. Just I, I wanted to know, right? Yeah. How tedious it would be to go and get all the achievements. Yeah. So that's the ultimate test. If I'm just running around, this game should be fun. So it shouldn't be tedious. I should be really enjoying it, right? Yeah. So I did all the running around. I stopped, uninstalled it because some of the achievements, I looked it up online. There are button combinations to do, like, a, to string moves together when you're running, climbing. And. Apparently, sometimes they just don't pop because they can't be bothered. Uh, and I thought... That sounds terrible. 
you're spawning in random enemies. The only thing I've got left to do doesn't always work. And I'm not actually enjoying the running around because the buttons sometimes just... Sometimes they just don't do what they're supposed to do. That's really all I can say. Is that sometimes you'll, you'll try a trick and it'll just flop the person out almost. Or, I don't know how to put it. It's sort of like... It's like, it's like, I thought you had you, frozen. You you were you were so still. I thought you, you had frozen. So sorry. When you run and jump, you can tuck your legs in for one of your moves, right? Yeah. And that's pretty forgiving. But there are other things where, like, you're running along a wall, and you can grab a, a pipe at a corner, and it'll swing you around, and then you keep running along the wall. Right? Yeah. And I think one time I was just doing this, and she just ran past the pipe, off the building, splat. And there's other times when you're looking at a pipe thinking, I should be able to grab that, and she can't. Because it's the wrong colour of pipe. It's silver rather than white. I mean, what in the name of... Yeah, no, that doesn't... That doesn't sit right. That just makes no sense. Do it. At least Assassin's Creed just says, no, you're not allowed past this bit. <laughs> Thou shalt not death enter. Yeah, One GTA cannot... just... One cannot simply grab onto any any pipe, a mirror's edge yeah. catalyst. It's just it's just rubbish, it's just nonsense. And I just found it too frustrating. So just was like I had, I had enough. Yeah, it was like, I mean, one of the big ones is if you use this sort of like pulse thing that you can use, it can break cameras, right? So yeah. the enemy aren't called in. But see if you stand underneath it and look at the wall and press the button, it nothing happens. It, yeah. You use the, you use the power. But the camera's okay. See if you tilt your head up and look at the camera when you use it. It destroys the camera. But it's emanating from me, not from my eyes. Why do I have to look at it for it to have an effect? That doesn't make sense. That just sounds bizarre. Jeez, oh. <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense. So I just got too frustrated with it and too annoyed. Just too annoyed. It's not worth it. It's just it's just not worth it to keep playing it if yep. you're that frustrated with it. Yeah, so I just uninstalled it, turned it off, that's it. Um, if you really want to play Mirror's Edge, play the first one. If you have to play the second one, um, just play the main story, forget everything else. And genuinely, you might want to play it first. It is a prequel and it isn't as good. So it's lull, so it's not going to, it's, it's like the next one, will, Mirror's Edge will be even better for you. Aye, and there's no real like spoilers, as it were. And personally, I don't think there's any Easter eggs that you can only understand having played the first one first. Mm. So I'd genuinely play it first if you had to. But honestly, my opinion of the game, ignore it. They just tried to turn it into an open... They just tried to turn it... EA again tried to turn it into an open world thing and just got it all wrong. Oh, dear. Yep. Um, So I give it out of 10. Very good. Maybe with an extra added bit of... What do you mean? I've, 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 oh, fuck. That's what I would give it. That's me at the end of trying to fail, at failing at everything. That's what I, That's my reaction. That and then I go yep. cry for half an hour. And then I go do have you know, some chocolate. We got a question, by the way. Oh, did we? Yeah, we did. What was the question? Well, the question here is on a postcard from 86 year old Wilma Whittington I'm pretending it's like I was really co- I was really confused Who? that's my hand right see I'm, I'm not holding anything no, I just I got know. my hand up like it's a postcard this is an actual question we got are you making this up I'm making the person up okay I was like, we really did confused. get a question um so she writes in says why is Fortnite called Fortnite I don't well, thanks know thanks for your question Wilma I've never played Fortnite. I don't know why oh. it's called Fortnite. Oh, you ruined my joke. I was What's... going to lean in and say, um, <clears throat> well, answer the women. I don't know why. Why is it called Fortnite? Do you know? I think I might have worked it out. Because uh, it, it's at the moment, it's a battle royale game, right? Yeah. But it used to be a sort of zombie defense, tower defense, wave based game, right? Yeah. And I believe... I think it might be the idea is you're building a fort and at night the zombies attack and you fight them off. Oh, I don't know anything about it. I just know that you can play as fun characters and they dance. Right, but originally it was a zombie wave tower defense game. 
that nobody liked and they changed it to a battle royale. But I think that might be where the name came from. Because it's a fort. You build a fort and then you defend it, I think, from a zombie attack at night. You're right. So it's fort night. Yeah, that's that's why. You're right. I just looked it up. So I'm correct? Yes. Okay, excellent. Well, that's our first, it says. It says, our first um, question. It says, um, the original Fortnite, which involves killing zombies and making forts at night, so they called it Fortnite. Oh, so maybe you fight the zombies during the day and build the fort at night. Hmm, maybe. Oh, whatever. That's what it's based on. A day, day night cycle and building a fort. There you go. Zombies. Has the question been answered now? Yes, it has. Good. So hopefully Wilma will write in and tell us whether or not that answer is acceptable. You need to tell me who actually asked the question. I may do so later. Cute. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we've got a 100% success rate with questions. Yeah. If anybody has any more. Do you have anything you wish to add? I have nothing. Me too. Me neither. Me as well. Me also. Me. I'm we prioritised the Mirror's Edge review and the question that we were asked. Yes. We give priority to those. Yes. Is that all? That is everything I wish to discuss. Excellent. Go ahead. How about you close out this week? Nope. So if you enjoyed what you're hearing, you can like the, like the video, subscribe to the channel, you can share the video, you can hit the notification bell for when we upload, you can leave a comment down below, any questions, comments, stories you'd like us to discover, any games you'd like us to play, please let us know. You can find us on Facebook at overshadow.shadowcast and you can find us and you can email us. You can find us at email. You can email us at overshadow.shadowcast at gmail.com. My squeak, my really sorry, my chair is so squeaky. I don't know if you can pick it up. I can't, I don't know why it's being so squeaky. I've obviously eaten one too many biscuits. Like it's really, oh wait, it's next to the desk. Maybe that was, that was why. The foot, of the foot was up against the desk. So it was like squeaking against it. I have been eating too many bis biscuits though. I'm very upset. And I eat when I'm upset. <laughs> so if anybody wants to adopt Abigail from me, that's fine. I like the fact you say adopt like you own me. You don't own me. Yeah, you don't own your children either. Okay, fine. Abduct. <laughs> During the next recording, abduct her from the set in inverted commas. So we hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for listening. And we'll yeah, see we you hope, next... Um, we'll, we, hope you see, we hope you'll hear us next week. Yes, we'll we be hope here that you will return. Week. Possibly. Yes. Unless I'm swamped under loads of research and tearing my hair out. That's a lot of work to do to tear your hair out. Yes. That would take up a lot of your time. Yes. So shall we say goodbye? Yes, we shall. Farewell. Goodbye.